Hello everyone, Laura Lee Roberts here with the Offerings of Wonder by Laura Lee. We are going to be making these cute little Christmas tree ornaments. You can use them, um, leave them natural, you can decorate them. And we're just going to lay those off to the side and I'm going to show you how to weave them. So to start with the materials that we need, oops, oh, sorry about that, are um, 10 pieces of our green. If you don't have uh, green, these are just leftover pieces that I had around. But if you don't have green, you can use natural or you can and you can paint them. And then I have a, a long piece of a brown. All quarter inch, this happens to be flat, this happens to be flat oval, really doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to use quarter inch if you want to make bigger ones. You can use bigger materials if you want your tree trunks to be bigger. You could use a like half inch. Um, and um, we need a piece of wax linen. So I have a piece of uh, wax linen about three feet long. And that's it to get started. Those are the things that you need, and then the uh, rest for decorating is optional. So we're going to start with taking a piece of our um, of the brown and grabbing a piece of the green, and I'm just going to lay it crossways on the brown. I'm going to take my wax linen and loop it around the back of the brown. So I've got a piece coming out on each side on top of the green piece that I just added. And it doesn't matter if you start left or right, but you want to be consistent. I'm going to start on the left. I'm going to cross over the front. Oops. Come around the back. And come back on the left side. Let's get that tightened back down. There we go. All right, come back on the left side underneath the green. So we started on top, crossed over, went behind, and came back out on the left side. Okay. Now we're going to take the right one, and this is going to move around until we get this side on. We're going to cross over to the left side, come behind, make our X, and we're just going to pull it all nice and tight okay that's the first piece now we're going to just keep repeating that going all the way down so i kept these all the same size so i didn't have to worry about um, which piece i was picking up but if you um, want to cut them into the size sizes and put the appropriate sizes as you're going down you can do that so again Started with the piece on the left, make the first part of the X, come around the back of the, of your tree trunk, come around the back, and come back out the left now below the green. Then we're going to take this piece that's above the green, cross over to the left, come behind the tree trunk, and come back out the right. And again, just make it nice and snug. So I have 10 pieces cut here. You can determine how big you want your tree. Um, I said these pieces can be bigger. You can do them in natural. That is very pretty as well. Um, but just, oops, <laughs> try not to slide it out. Get back in there. All right, so this is how you fix it if it slides out. Or we just back it up. Let me just back it up because I think that's going to be easier. There we go. All right. Take two. Let's try that again. I wasn't paying attention as I was chatting with you guys. So lay it back on. Cross it over. Cross it over. All right. There we go. So now we have two X's. So you're going to be making X's on the front and you're going to be making um, straight lines on the back. Okay. 
All right. So let's try that again. Let's add our third piece on. So we're going to put the third piece on, cross over, snug it up, cross over, snug it up. All right. I'm just going to kind of center those. And there we go. So we're going to keep going. So I was starting to say you could do this in just in natural. Um, you could paint them if you don't have the uh, color that you want. You could um, make them in multiple colors. Let's say that you have a, um, maybe your Christmas theme is all blue. You could do them in blue. So let your imagination go with you. Can add that on, cross over, come behind the, the tree trunk, the other side, cross over, come behind the tree trunk, and then just tighten it up. So we're going to end up with these nice X's on the front. And again, you're going to have the lines going straight across on the back. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these on so we can show you. Um, once I get them all on, we are going to um, go back the other direction with our X's to really uh, make sure that they are nice and secure on your stem. So, two more. So, X down around the back of the stem. Complete your X. Opposite direction, come back behind the stem. And just tighten it up. All right, last one. There we go. Behind the stem, cross over, make your X come behind the stem. So then what I do is I turn it upside down and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna make my X's one more time. So again, I started with my left side, so I'm gonna go make my X on the left, come around the stem, come out one row below. Use the one on the right, cross over the stem, Make my X, come out, and come out. So I'm doing these with a contrasting color so you can, you know, you can really see the X's. You could also do it with a color that would be more camouflaged. So you could do it with greens. Um, I'm just really trying to snug these up so that they're going to be nice and tight. Nice and tight against my stem and really hold these pieces on. Okay. So we're going to do this. Just repeating what we did. The first X. And then the second X, part of the X, and come out. All right. part of the X, go around the stem, come back out, second part of the X, around the stem, come back out, and I'm just going to continue that all the way down. Alright. Keep going here so we get all the way down. Oops. There we go. All the way down. That one. Finish my X. Come on up. All right, four more. So, oops. Do my left side. 
come up around, take my right side, complete the X, come back around the stem. And you can see I'm kind of um, getting these. These are harder to move now, but trying to get them so they're at least semi-lined up. Uh, all right. Third one from the bottom, or from the top, actually. See how these have kind of slid over? So before I tighten those, I'm going to just move them back. Tighten that up. All right, two more. Boom, ba -doom. And then that one up and around all right this last one i'm just pulling to the back let me finish my x here and i'm going to come around to the back side and so you can see all my straight lines on the back i'm just going to tie a knot here and i made this wax line in a little bit longer i'm just going to use it to be my um, hanger as well. So I'm going to tie a nice knot so it's everything's secured here. And we'll just tie a knot up here. Thank you to Miss Judy Writings for that suggestion. Um, but if you didn't, if you wanted to do so, like this one, we use some baker's twine. And I just wrapped it around between the first and the second, tied a knot on the back so it could be a hanger. Okay, so we've completed all of our X's and we've got our tree, but it doesn't look too much like a tree yet. So if you um, like to just go for it, you can just uh, cut the shape of your tree out. Um, that's what I did with this one. Um, I didn't do too bad. Um, but I wanted to show you a little trick that I did with this one. Um, I took a, a piece of cardstock. You can use a piece of paper. I folded the paper in half. And I took my ruler and I made a line. So an angle for my tree. And then I cut that. So now I have a nice big tree shape. And I did mine larger. So if I wanted to do some bigger trees, I could do that as well. So then you just lay your tree let's see, on top of the, um, you're going to um, put the, your tree trunk right on the fold of your paper. And that will make it so that it is even on both sides. And then I would just cut. Follow, the, oops. Don't grab the paper, follow the paper template up. Oops, I slid a little bit there. Let me get that back on there. There we go. All right, boom, and yeah, to the top. Be careful, you don't want to you don't want to cut your um your wax linen. All right, I'm just gonna flip it over and go this direction. And boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. All right, get all those out of the way, and there we go. All right, so there we go. That was curling a little bit. I'm just bending. Um, I didn't say this at the beginning, but you do not have to wet um, the reed. You can do this dry, um, and then I'm gonna just cut a little bit off because I don't want my tree quite that tall. All right. And there you have it. That is our woven tree. Now you could use, um, I said this one. Let's get that out there. So this one I just added a different color hanger. You can see that gives it a little pizzazz. This one I glued on some buttons and a star. Um, use what you have available. Um, you can use them, leave them plain. You can do them with natural and paint them. You can use the contrasting wax linen or use the same color if you want it to blend in and have fun with them. I hope you enjoyed. Again, Laura Lee Roberts, Offerings of Wonder. Give me a like, subscribe if you want to see more.